We use a technique called machine learning uh, in which we basically create a large set of data that's labeled by humans and then we create algorithms and we feed that data to the machine and the algorithms kind of learn how to uh, find the similar patterns in data. There are two primary challenges. One is that the robot itself is moving in a very uh, noisy and uncertain environment. So we try to account for that by creating a ruggedized robot which you know, works well and gets good data. And the second challenge is the noise and motion uh, in the environment. Uh, there's wind, the, the surface is not very um, stable, the cameras can move around, and we account for that by trying to measure everything that we can and then using that in our machine learning algorithms. The way we uh, account for the variability is by first having a nice and rugged robot that can get us good data, and then we also use the tricks in the machine learning algorithm to account for all of the variability in the data. Some of the things that we learned last year when working with KWS uh, was that you know agricultural environments can be really tricky and really uh, uh, you know difficult to handle. So We've found kind of the Achilles heels of little robots in agricultural fields, and we've kind of fixed those. For example, we're using a special type of motor that does really well with water, and uh, we're using different designs of struts this year that are really good at handling a lot of movement. Our shells are designed so that the whole robot is compact and rugged, but yet easy to pick up. We feel that creating better seats will lead us to feed the 9 billion people we're about to become in a more sustainable and profitable way. We feel that the tools that we're creating will enable KWS to create better seats for the future in a more efficient manner.